What's good, everybody? I'm back again. D. Trust the process, okay? Trust the process. We are back again with another tutorial. This tutorial is going to be about the pull-up. Because I see so many people doing this wrong, okay? Now, now this is this is for the strict pull-up, okay? For a strict pull-up, not kipping, nothing like that. It's for the strict pull-up, okay? So many, I see so many people doing this wrong and they feel like doing it right. Now, if you're trying to do an actual strict pull-up, this is the video for you. Now, because everybody got their own way when they pull-ups and their own training that they're doing, you know, so. This is, this is strict pull-ups that, that I'm about to show you guys. I'm about to show you some easy tips on what I do, what I've learned, and hopefully it helps you with making your gains and getting you better at pull-ups. So, getting to the pull-up, right? Um, when it comes to doing the pull-up, right, when I do my pull-ups, right, I, okay, let's say I'm grabbing the bar, right, I automatically, for some reason, when I do a lot of different moves, I put my chest, I make sure my chest is pointing up. I don't have my chest slouched in. I make sure my chest is, is up, okay? That automatically, by pushing my chest up like that, automatically is, um, automatically contracting my traps already. As soon as I do that. And then I look, I look up as well. You know what I'm saying? I look up. Now when you're doing this trick pull-up, right? You wanna make sure you're getting full range of motion. So you don't, so you wanna make sure you're going, pulling all the way up, chin over the bar, coming all the way down. Not half repping, not going like this. You wanna make sure you come up, all the way down, okay? I see a lot of people doing that. I see, um, you also don't wanna cross your legs either, okay? And I'm gonna show you all this. So you also don't wanna cross your legs, because that's gonna, that's gonna tend to make you use your legs for momentum to, make, to, to help you, to help you get that push up, to, to help you come up. You don't want to use no, no, you don't want to have any leg or momentum at all. Like, it's a pull-up. It's a strict pull-up. That's why, that's why it's called a strict pull-up. You're using, there's no legs involved in it at all, okay? So, it's another thing I see people doing, using their legs for momentum. Pull -up, a pull-up is very simple once you get strong enough to actually do it. Okay, so... I'm gonna show you guys some of the wrong ways that I that I see. Okay, I think I'll show you. I'll probably show you from both ways. So the first thing that that I um, see, right, is like like I said, this is a strict pull up, right? It's the wrong way. So I see people doing for a strict pull up. We'll start with half reps. This is what this what it looks like. See, I was going just like this, right? Have it. I'm not, I'm not using my full range of motion. You know what I'm saying? I'm going like this. That is not a straight pull up. Okay? You're, you're half repping. Is there anything wrong with half repping? Because I know how people feel about it. No. But for a straight pull up, that's not right. So, that's the first thing that's people doing. The next thing I see people doing is crossing their legs. Right? Crossing their do this. Now I want to cross your legs because it's very easy for you to start using your legs for momentum, especially once you get, as you start to fatigue. If you're crossing your legs, you're going to eventually start using your legs to get you up. Now, now, now if you're trying to do a lot of reps, that might be okay, but it's not okay for a straight pull-up. Okay. I hit another thing that people do where they will do both. They have, they'll have their legs crossed, they have their legs crossed at the ankles, and they'll be half right. This is how they look. Started on pull reps a little bit, but you see what I'm talking about. Third, <laughs> started on the habit at the end, but as you can see, I'm using, I got my legs crossed, right? I'm using my legs 
for a straight pull-up, right? You should not be hopping up off the bar. That, <laughs> it's a strict pull-up. You're supposed to be using no legs. If you're using no legs and just straight back, you are not hopping up off the bar. You shouldn't, your hands should not be letting go each time. We're not, like, we're not doing, kip, we're not kipping or kipping. We're doing a strict pull-up. Your hands should not come off the bar. That right there should let you know you're doing it wrong. And I see, I see people do that all the time. And swore, and swore they just killing it. And you're not. You look crazy. You're not even doing a trick pull up. I'm gonna show you that one more time. Cause I think, cause I'm doing, I think I'm doing four reps. Show you that one more time. I should not be able to, to pull myself up like that and hop up off the bar. Like I should not be able to do that. That's wrong. So no half repping, okay? No half repping, do not cross your legs. Do not cross your legs to angles. Do not use your legs for momentum. But if you're doing a straight pull up and you bring your legs up, you're making that pull up a lot easier. When I was just doing that, I could do, <laughs> I could do hella reps doing it that way. Like, cause I'm using my legs to drive me up every time. I can do hella reps. You look stupid doing that. Don't do that. <laughs> Strict pull-ups means no momentum. There's no momentum. That's why it's, it's called strict, right? So this is how the, the pull-up should look, okay? Jump with a bar, hand placement can be wide, and it's up to you. But just make sure, like I said, um, chin with the bar, chest up, head up, okay? This is how it should look. No leg momentum, just, have, just keep your legs dangling. tutorial. If y'all got any other movements y'all want to see, let me know. Comment below. Now you're back at y'all with another video. Uh, yeah, nigga, I came from the dirt, sipping up dirt. Why the fans want to hurt? Nigga,